Would you be cool if your kids got with your best friend's kids? Is five minutes sex enough? Can you fuck with a dope, ugly person? Uh, this is the demo track. Love it, I love it, I love it. I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy, Bari. And this is Jay Willie, the podcast killer, aka Podcast Poppy, aka Pop Father. And this is Full of Wednesdays, man. You're about to get another episode of Ghetto News from your relationship gurus, nigga. Wow. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Gang, 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 gang. gang. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers. What's happening? How was your week, man? Week was dope. Oh, it was great. I got, you know what I'm saying? I feel, I, I, I feel real itchy. I, I feel like I got to introduce my good friend and my good brother oh. right here. But wait, but wait, but wait. We, let, let's do that after we do our week, brother. How was your week, man? Okay, now nah, my week was good, man. You know, good news that I don't want to speak on yet, but it's real good news. So, okay, that's dope. Yeah, so it's, it's okay. going well. It's How about yourself, good. Damo? Um, I finally made that transition to Atlanta, baby. Hey, it's lit. Yeah, man. My boy, my boy out here in the A, okay. Yeah, man. I made the move. I'm down there. It's all good. Um, okay, crazy okay. part is, yo, Barry, I feel like I'm coming back home next week, man. It hasn't settled in yet. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, you are? I'm <laughs> like, oh. No, I know I'm saying I feel like it. <laughs> Oh, 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 nah, listen, man, sometimes it's like, it's, it's going to take a minute. I know that. It's not I feel like I'm in another part of Brooklyn. Ain't no way that's like Brooklyn. I tell you, I, I know that for a fact. Bro, you don't know that because you ain't living nowhere else. I was about to say, you don't know that. You don't know that at all. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. Talk shit. I, yeah, you, you know when a bunch of niggas just don't let you talk shit. Anyway, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh. My bad. Yeah. Nah, but my week, my week was lit. My week was fire. I ain't gonna hold you. Nobody, Nobody asked, asked you. I'm Nobody just saying. So I'm, I'm, I'm just volunteering this information. That's all I'm doing. But um, nah, the, my, my week was lit. Um, a lot of good things. Uh, a lot of businesses. I mean, we. Oh, speaking of that, before we get into the introduction of the amazing guests that we have on, <laughs> on the bill for tonight. Um. I want to shout out B Condoms one time. Oh, uh, back ooh. like they never left. Listen, man, we back like nothing ever happened. Is that a bo- is that a reflector box? Listen, man, I'm, I'm a th- listen. Like I said, the week was lit. Um, what happened is B Condoms is is, is stationed out here in Atlanta. Ooh. So guess who had a meeting with B Condoms <laughs> face to face, to face oh. type shit. So I want to shout out my boy. Um, my boy. You Jason. married though, King? You don't use those. Listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, safe sex, play safe sex. Listen, but no, no, no. I, I, I got to get this off. Um, I want to shout out Jason. I want to shout out Joe. Um, the, the, the leaders and the runners of Beat Condom, um, they held it down. They showed the whole fucking game plan. They showed what's to come. Um, they fuck with the Willow Wednesday family. They, they fuck with the Willow Wednesday fan base that we have, all the support mm-hmm. that we provide and that we give. Um, the, the promo code is still lit for those who's out there that's searching for the first and only black owned condom company. It's, it's, on, it's, it's, it's a vibe. It's the vibe. First, first black owned condom man. company. On the box, it says support black business. Like, it's a real thing. So, Come on now. Just Yo, to, I just like to that box. Me. Like, I'd buy the shit just for the box. Listen, just, just, just to officially sit down with the people. Who, who that you know, they've been sponsoring us for a while, you know. Just to sit down, whoa, and, whoa, whoa. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. remember it, 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 it's, it's a microphone interference, y'all. Lapel microphone. mics, everybody. Lapel it's, mics. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of chest movements. Too much chest is in the room. There's a yep. bunch of chest things. You doing push-ups? Sir? Facts. Nah, but once again, shout out to Jason, shout out to Joe, the good folks over at uh, Beat Condoms, yeah, the first and only black-owned condom company. I met with y'all. 
Um, I, I'm with the vision. We here. If you need anything, we can get Wade to drop the link. We have a uh, some link somewhere. We'll put it in the bottom somewhere. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a vibe. You dig? Facts. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so. The gentleman I have to my right here mm-hmm. oh, yeah. is a very, 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 very powerful gentleman in the streets of New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, first and foremost, it's right. the man. It's the name wait, wait, is, wait, it's first, the man. First off, wait, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm just a guy from around the corner and up the block. Oh, cool. I didn't finish Huawei. introducing you. Wait, wait, um, can I introduce you? I don't know what he's talking about. I'm just a modest fellow. You know what I mean? No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Fun. We got to cut his mic. Wait. You know what I mean? This is the man, the you know myth, what I mean? the legend, Wale. Wale. From Wale you know and Friends, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't do that. Friends, I'm just a friend to the room, a friend of the room, a friend in the room. Nah, this is the man, the myth, the legend about. himself, you know what I'm saying? I'm only great he the with, only nigga I know I'm in the nighttime with Shane. I'm the great I just want you to know friends that. that I have, and, you know, I'm just a representation of all of you amazing people, so... Thank you for listen, having me. Listen, bro, I, I, I just want to I, I wanna say thank you for, for joining us on tonight's episode of Willow Wednesday. I mean, I, I, I'm, I've, been Salud. Rocking with you. I've been rocking with you for a while now. You my man, 100 grand, you know, and I just, right. I'm proud to see the growth so and you the demo. progressions. Moving out to Atlanta. Salud. Salud. Glad, Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Let's get it. You know what's crazy? It's a vibe, always a vibe. But media it's my first time on this podcast, and I think. Man, I miss the legend. Wale. Like five Temporary years. Temporary lover. Always toxic. Half a gas station pill bari. Mm. What the <laughs> fuck is we talking about today, yo? Half a gas station pill? Yo, we not going to talk about that. <laughs> oh, what makes your head hurt? Yo, bro. We not, can we not talk about that? <laughs> yeah. He got yeah. asthma. You feel me? He can't take a whole one. He got so, asthma. Ah, coffee. I'm saying, fuck with the, the respiratory that. system. It activates his COVID. Bobby, Bobby was out here putting honey in his tea. <laughs> man, that honey worked, bro. Y'all, y'all fuck around and play that honey like y'all want to. That honey worked, nigga. Nah, I haven't had it about? yet. I haven't had it yet. But, um... What are we talking about, cuz? Is five minutes sex enough? Ooh. I mean, I'm shit, saying, we, we got, we got honey about. and gas station pills. Nah, I'm saying a lot of times <laughs> people be talking like they having sex for an hour, two right. hours... On a previous episode, if you've ever watched, go back to our archives. A young lady said that she'd be having sex for three hours every time she has three sex. Three hours. I, I don't believe her, but once again, you know, I don't like I don't like calling people lies on their truth. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she do have three hours sex. Hey man, it's gotta it be trash it if it's that. But nonetheless, it's five minutes sex enough. We gonna talk mm. about it. Okay. Okay. Can you fuck with a dope, ugly person? Mm. <laughs> Shit, bad. <laughs> Are you shallow if you can't? Shit, bad. Shit, bad. <laughs> Shit, bad. Hey, real quick. If chill, you chill, follow- chill, 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 chill. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You wild, you wild, you wild, you wild, you wild. Your body always want to sacrifice my life, bro. No, that's not. I wasn't nah, going to say everybody that. Everybody get yo, your bro along. If you, followed, if you follow the Willow Wednesdays family on, 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 on Instagram, you know shit about it's a thing. You understand? If that's all I was going to nah, say. Nah, nah. That was supposed to be like a little insider. Shit, Next topic. Bad. Shit, bud. Right? Cool, bad. cool, cool. And also, we're going to talk about, could your kids date your best friend's kids? Recently, that's Martin the, Lawrence the, and Eddie Murphy's the, son and daughter are dating. And a lot of people have a lot of mixed reviews on Eddie Murphy's son dating Martin Lawrence's daughter. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about it. Could your kids date your best friends or one of your close friends' kids? Mm. So yeah, I like we're gonna, it. We're we going to talk about that. We're going to definitely talk about that. Press the, I don't know who got the drop. You you got the, no? All right, we, we, we got to make the drop real quick. Let's start it up. All right, bad, 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 bad. Uh, topic, let me see. Topic now. number one. Willow Wednesdays. <laughs> Is five minutes sex enough? Let's, 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 I feel like I want to start there. Okay. That's a good one. Right. Yo, so a lot of times. Why they talk to me, bro? Yeah, what? a lot of times people make it seem like they they have sex for an hour, two Is hours. Is five minutes sex enough? Is five minutes sex enough on a consistent basis? Every nah. time you have sex, five minutes. It shouldn't be five minutes until you have sex. Talk to me. What's what's a, what's the ideal number for Wale? 
It all depends. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that nah, five minutes is enough. That means you, like, is that like including head and everything too? Including nah, all of it. That's, that, that's a quickie. It's a quickie, right? So what I'm saying is sex. It's a, it's We're not a quickie about enough. A quickie. It's a quickie it's a enough. Quick, right, exactly. Is yeah. it a quickie every enough? Every time? Yes. Nah. Well, not every you time. You enjoy that. You got to play with it, switch the positions up. Mm-hmm. You know, it feels I mean, in a quickie, position. you can switch positions. Bro, you said more. five minutes. That's a... Nah, five minutes is a long time, bro. Five minutes. Every bro. time? You haven't, you, haven't been, you haven't sat still for five minutes? You said... No, Wade said it's an MMA fight. It's an MMA? <laughs> Wade said it's an MMA that's fight. That's an old Conor McGregor fight. Wade said that's an MMA fight. Shout out to Wade. Yo, RIP to Conor McGregor's ankle. Yeah, RIP to his career. That man is not yeah, so fighting ever again. He, he lost. He should, he should, nigga, his leg snapped. Yo, he I already wasn't that. trying to fight for a while. Yeah. I don't think he's ever fighting again after he just broke his leg. That's so, it. He should have he right. been stopped. We got to come back to that. He should have. I, I, right. I didn't know that about Conor McGregor. I was too busy moving to Atlanta. My bad. So let me That's ask you a true. question. Oh, Flex. Go ahead. Do your thing. Um, question. So what is a good amount of time That's for Wale question. to have sex? I mean, that shit changes, but I think... Can you, is like, there an average, a median time? It depends on how much I want to have sex with you, too. A median time? So, I mean, you're saying how long, like... Bro, is 45 minutes long. good? Is it 20 minutes, a half hour? 25. You said how much? 25 minutes? 15 to 25. 15, 15 to 25? 25? Depending. Yeah. Okay, that's a... That's, that's a, a modest sex. If you try to get freaky, then you know That's what a mean, solid range. I mean, you might want to suck some toes, eat some booty. You said suck some toes. Yeah, eat some ass. Ooh, Maybe. ooh, you said eat some ass. I didn't say me. I'm just saying what you might want to do. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying I, I almost pushed my, my fucking microphone and camera <laughs> far away from my face. Yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing that. What? The JC nah. married. You got to eat some butt, bro. Ooh. Nah, I'm straight. That's okay. Nah. I, got this, I got this without doing that. I Yo, see. Willa, hey, you married now. You got to eat some butt. <laughs> you got to try some new stuff. Yo, fuck what you talking about. You married now. You got to eat some butt, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Heard it, heard it. Nah, I mean, he said it. Now I'm just imagining a foot in your mouth. Walla, like, I'm mad about that. Like, you got me. No, 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 no. Hey, Walla, you a, you a foot man? You, 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 a, you a toe man? I'm on you missionary with your toes in my mouth. Ooh. You heard Walla say Gangsta. white toes only, right? Gangster. I'm not stuck to the white toes. You can have some yellow on. It, it all depends. And it also depends on your skin tone to your toes. Some some colors look better on certain skin tones than others. So so the, the fingernail polish don't come off? You don't get that little... You don't get none of that? Nah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not biting the nails. <laughs> I might just like, kiss I the arch. I just, I just, like, nah, kiss yeah, the like, arch. I might just kiss the arch. You know what I mean? Little, you know what I'm saying? And they got to have really moisturized feet, right? Because once again, you... Yeah, nah, but I'm 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 kind of like picky, so if your feet are nasty, they weren't going in my mouth to begin with. So I'm. Uh, I don't tell anybody toes. I'm just saying, like, depending on how kinky you want to get. Since we on the toe thing, then you might turn around, give a little booty leg, let her know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since we on the foot thing, is like a small feet, or is it, does the size of the foot matter? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Depending on like how you built, I'm down for a good size seven and a half. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Size eight, men or women? Yeah, depending on how tall she is, though. A size eight, men? If you a five ten chick, you gonna wear like a size eight sneaker, oh, so bro? So she buys phone pods oh. off the back. No, it's true. Nah, no, it's true. That, that all that all goes back to how you how you pick your fashion. You're not wearing no, 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 phone no, no. pods. Like. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, all right, oh, so like you said, let's say, she, all right, so she a little taller, like you say, five nine, five ten. She got yeah. like a good woman size 11, 12. That's different. I'm just That's curious. The more. The you said biggest size, foot you I've ever woman. seen is probably like a Maya nine. Moore, bro. That's Maya you, Maya. Nine? you wear the same size as me, Shorty? That's what I mean, but, but she's, she's a big, but, she's, but that's what I'm saying. She's a bigger woman in general. Like, so y'all think that women can be taller than y'all, but can't have bigger feet than y'all? <laughs> no, 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 I never said that, but... No, no, we're talking about that that foot then going in your mouth. You're that's trying to eat a, That's what we're referring to. What's what? the, that's what I mean, no, wait, let me that, go. on average, I've seen seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half. 
the biggest go. I've seen probably is usually seven and a half, eight. Yeah, I'm not putting a whole foot in my mouth, bro. Like I'm not uh, pause. Like I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> but right now you are subway is getting a foot long. Nigga. But I'm enjoying that a little too much, no? What foot in my mouth? Nah, what you just did with your hand? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I see you right there, brother. No, nah, go, go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, okay. um, nah, but like, all right, cool. You asked what size? I mean, I just was curious. I mean, since we talked, yeah, about like, you. bro, I'm, I'm, I'm not, once again, like, I'm not eating a foot. Like and mm. like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. So, mm. that's that's a foot yeah. long, but you know what it is? I'm so used to it that when people ask them questions, it's kind of like I don't even like really. It's not a, it's not as much of a thing for me. Like if I'm caught in the moment, and you got like a really pretty foot. And I'm like, okay, come here, let me yeah. nibble. Yeah. And sometimes I know it also arouses the the chick. So, you like, know wait, you know what? Like, you know what's crazy? I've been told it's erotic. That was, that was some smooth shit. Let me get a nibble. That was smooth. Like that that, that rolled smooth, off the gross, subtle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what you said? Nice. I I I I agree with. A lot of women will claim that they not they don't like their feet played with like that. But anytime I've heard them say, "Yo, when a man's kiss my foot or suck my toes, they liked it, even though they don't like their foot played with." Mm-hmm. So you, okay. you may be onto something there. Yeah, so do you, you like your you, you like your girls. do you like your toe you like your your feet lick too? Who no 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 don't play with my feet don't play with my butt. I just was curious. Um, nah, like you, I don't. You the first foot like, guy on the show. Have we had too many people? On the that's show crazy. Did? Niggas be lying. Maybe they be lying. They be lying. But a lot of, I know a lot of niggas who say they don't like feet. They I don't think, touch feet. And I know a lot of niggas say they don't. I don't pussy. like feet. I don't like feet. Who, who say yeah, they don't I, eat pussy? I don't fuck with feet personally. I don't feel I'm not a foot guy. I'm sorry. Okay, so the whole wave of not eating pussy, that shit was like early 2000s type shit. Right. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's 2020, 2021. <laughs> what, what Fat Joe said, slow yeah. down, baby. I'm going to tell you for the job. I don't go down, baby. You know? Yeah, right. He, yeah, he, he, he's bugging because he's a wild Puerto Rican. They do that. <laughs> no, he's lying. I, I, he's cold. Listen, lying. I, I, was, I was sucking toes since 2006. Wow. wow. First time I ate booty, I was probably, well, first time I, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. I bought some groceries. I was probably like 20, 19. Wow. So, yeah. I'm 31, so. You I was a young man. You I'm were a vet, this. bro. So, I, like, I really was like, I'm, all right, so if y'all say I never sucked toes, imagine a nigga sucking toes in high school. Oh, so you had, I was a Nigga, you different. Had, okay. Different. So, you're, okay. you're, you're a toe connoisseur of sorts. Bro, like. You know what I mean? I could tell okay. if your feet are probably bad, like looking at your hands. Can we go off this feet topic though? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the nigga said I can tell your toes is bad from your hands. True I'm shit. sorry. No, no, but, I, but honestly, I, I can understand how he got there because to me that makes sense. If you can't take care of your hands, you're definitely not taking care nah, of your Nah, it's not even that, bro. Like, like, like per how someone's fingers are shaped and like you can kind of tell how, how their feet how their feet might be. But you want to know something? And I'm, Like your nail beds match and shit like that. I'm going to give Wally oh, his wow. props. I'm gonna, I give Wally his, I'm gonna give him his props for the system. simple fact that the other day we was chilling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 And we was. Oh. Bro, you didn't even let me. Okay, go ahead. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Has this story been cleared? Because what we'll, we'll Barry like. No, 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 it's not nothing crazy. It's okay. not crazy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, was, we, was, we was driving to an event, and then my whole. Wale said, yo, bro, if she don't got pretty toes, she's not valid. That's not right. what I said. I'm okay, my fault, my fault. You know what I'm saying? And what he in that in that in that moment he said, a lot of times women have standards that they have for men. He gotta be six feet, right. he gotta be have a beard, he gotta have this, he gotta have that. So as a man now, if I say to you, yo, Shorty, are your toes pretty? If you don't yeah. got toe, pretty toes, I'm not fucking with it. Why? Because yeah. that's just what I want. I mean, and he, I respect and he been pre and and before, he been preaching this since I met him. And at first, I'm like, yo, this thing is a little, that's a little weird. But now right. that I think about it, as a man, you know what? I don't want a girl who wears some sandals and then when she busts out her her, her sandals, her toes look wicked. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, my I'm thing like, is, like, so I'm like, you know what? Shout out to Wale for that because I, I never thought of it like that. Nah, but y'all, and, but y'all could, and that's but, because my fault. My fault, Dan. Go ahead. Well, forgive me, but y'all Caribbean. I thought sandals and you know walk around. That don't. Feet. I'm not even trying to be. 
No, nah, no. What, what I'm saying is, 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 is more so along the line like, okay, cool. Chicks want to do that's tall. You have to have a hairline. You have to have a beard. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to dress well. All of this shit. And it's like, I'm supposed to like feel honored because, you know, what I mean, essentially you're, you know, someone of the opposite sex and you are attracted to me. Like I can't, I can't have things that I. Can't I have yeah, I can't have my own standards. Like. Yeah, like I know chicks that be five five and they want to do six four. Like you got some nerve. A dude five eleven is too short for me. What? That's facts. Even if you wear heels, you're not like you're the same height. Like that's a problem. I'm five ten. But if a dude has. Who's that moving? What you said? What you said, Jason? He said I'm five ten with Tim. You feel me? Feel me? Feel me? Like what we talking about? Yeah. So. You can, and there's nothing wrong with preference as a man, yeah, as, a, as a person, right? So now, when he said, when he's been preaching this pretty toast thing for years, so now, when I hear it, it's like, you know what? We as men, we be like, yo, I don't like feet, I don't like feet. But you know what? Nah, you know what? Sure, you gotta have some pretty toes. At least have well, okay, some Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's reel this back in, bring it back home. Facts, we've been on topic for like five, 20 minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, we didn't get five into minutes. it. We didn't get too much defeat. Yeah, we did the defeat. Yeah, I've been trying to cut this topic down. Me personally, um, we asked why Five minutes is not enough. Heard it. We asked why Lay. Barry just said it's not enough. Dane, what are we talking about? Is five minutes enough? No. No. Um, It can be, but I'm going to say no. Cool. I'm also going to say it can be, but I'm going to say no because you said every time. Right. Every time I messed it up. So, so like like, like I was saying... Five minutes to me is not enough based on how it was posed because how it was posed was every single time. Now, right. if we're saying that, can you deal with a quickie every once in a while that's five minutes? Absolutely. I love, me a, I love me a good quickie. It's passionate. It's quick. It's, it's, it's so intense and emotional and everything's happening right there. Boom. Great moment. Every single time, no. But every once in a while, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So as we've seen, pretty much five minutes is cool. We can all do it, like you just said, quickie, quickie, whatever. But for the most part, we need what? At least 20, 20 some minutes? We agreed 20 minutes, 25? 20 to 30 minutes is valid. At the end of the day? I, I, to, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, if you can't get the job done in that time frame, Word. I, feel, I feel bad for you as a person. I'm sorry. Mm. I, can, I can get there in 20 to 30 minutes. I feel you. All right. And I, I feel like shitty. anything, if you're going for an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, that means you on a different type of time. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth. You going for some no, shit. The, no, the, bro, the, the pussy trash, if you're going that long without nothing at least once. Nah, bro. Oh, without what? something happening. I thought you meant like to continue. No, no, no. no, no. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm all for getting your rocks off and hopping back in it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could do that all day, but I'm talking about a one and done. For me, for me to get there, it don't take me an hour, two hours, three hours to get there. That's crazy. That's, 20, you're not 20, human. 20, 20, 30 minutes, depending on. All right. If the hen, if like the hen rock cool. right, if the hen rock right, you feel me? Well, but no, honestly, hen, henny dick is different. Yeah, you can fuck, you can for, fuck hours for hours on henny dick. I'm saying right. you got the I honey, worry. you feel me? If you got the honey, you you lit, you feel me? Just All right, man. The honey in. Let's sprinkle the honey in it. So let's move on. Let's move on, fellas. Let's move on. Let's move on. Come on now. Let's do it. Come on. So next topic. I got y'all right now. I got y'all. We are going to talk about... Let's talk about Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Fellas, 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 fellas. Could you, would you, could you or would you be okay with your child dating your best friend's child? Mm. Mm. Is that something that would bother you? Is it something that you're cool with? Talk to me, yes or no, real quick. I just need a yes or no around the panel, real quick. Willa, yes or no? That's a tough Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Introduce it one more time. Would you be cool with your kid dating your best friend's kid? Yes or no? Uh, best friend, I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> it's a tough one. 
but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Walla, yes or no? Talk to me. I mean, people gonna do what people gonna do regardless. So as right. long as you're not wilding, yes or no? It's whatever. I mean, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say no. But yeah, I'm gonna say no. Oh, I'm in the middle. That's a tough one. Well, uh, wow, I mean, but, but so, so, why, why are you saying no? Are you saying no? As close um, as, you know. Because, to be fair, like, it's, it's going to sound weird to say, but I feel like my closest friend, like, for example, me and Willa are extremely close, right? I'm going to feel like Willa's kids is like my kids. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a hand in part in terms of how they in raising them not saying i'm their father or anything like that but i'm gonna be there so whatever shit they got going on or whatever fuck shit they do is gonna bother me a little different than when somebody else can do it if it makes sense wait was the question like close friends or just friends in general close friends yeah cause... Mario, you, you you confuse the fuck out of me bro i'm not gonna hold you because how it... Well, 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 real quick, at the end of the day, while I'm not sure if you know, but um, Martin Lawrence's daughter is dating Eddie Murphy's son. Yeah, yeah. Of course and that's where the topic son. came from. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, like, we're all friends. You know what I'm saying? What mm -hmm. if, you know, your daughter dated my son or, you know, Bari's daughter dated Jay's son or something like that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I How think, would you feel I about that? I think to what Bari's saying, it, that's fair. Like, if our kids are raised like cousins... It, it'd be kind of weird for me to maybe, but at the end of the day, if that's not how they feel, if that's not the relationship they took to each other, because just because we're good friends don't mean our kids are close like that. And like we may have a good friendship still, but maybe we're not friends the way we used to be. So I don't, I can't say that our kids shouldn't be attracted to each other. Like, no, I'm yeah, not talking about attraction. The, the, yeah, the attraction even, thing. Yeah, but I was just gonna say because even now, even, even what happened, like they, they even had if they. Even if they grew up together, but they've grown now. Niggas right. is 22 or like, 23. You know what I'm saying? 24, right. 25. Yeah. They've grown. Yeah. They could have been play cousins all their life, but they've grown right. and they're not related. They cousins when they were 8 and 9 and yeah. now I, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to defend my point. I feel like I would not, I, w I would feel no way, right? Um, if my son was dating my best friend's daughter or if my daughter was dating my best friend's son or my daughter was dating my best friend's daughter love is love right right um, I, I would feel no way with that because you're in my life for a reason you're my best friend for a reason you're a friend for a reason so i i, I would have you around the people that i love because I, I i love you right if, if, if we close like that so in my head the way I see it is, I know that this individual has good morals and good standings, so their child should be raised under those same standards. Right. So, so if you are if you're a, a stand up individual, and you're you're raising your kid to be a stand up individual, I would love for my kid to be attached to somebody who who who's raised that way because at least I know where you come from. You know what I mean? Like that, that's how I see it personally. I I get that, but at the same time, in terms of dating, like, sometimes it's hard when it comes on to kids that you know, that you've helped raise, or someone that you are extremely close with, with and their kids, when they do something crazy or dumb, it's hard to just allow them to be dumb because it's like yo no but barry barry you're, you're wait wait you're i'm wait 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 i'm i'm my just bad, saying bad, i'm not bad. saying you <laughs> i'm saying in a general sense i'm being in you may remove like oh i can remove myself detached from my relationship the relationship of my child and i get that but a lot of times when you see your child dating someone that you're extremely close with their parent and then that kid is someone that you're extremely close with now all of a sudden now he's like damn this little nigga's out here kind of fake doing my daughter crazy or shorty's doing my son crazy it's like i know you for real like why are you moving like that with my kid like granted we could look at it on the spectrum of oh it's gonna the relationship is gonna be dope i don't, I don't know Mari. 
I, we can look at it on the spectrum of, yo, the relationship is going to be great. This is a wholesome young man, a wholesome that's young not, woman. That's not it's what it really dope. is at the end of the day. But at the same time, the person could just be on some different type of time and they could just not be ready for certain shit. Or they could just be doing fuck shit. And now because they're doing fuck shit, you like, damn. What type of kid did you raise, Willa? Yo, what kind of tip kid did you raise, Dame? What kind of kid did you raise, Walla? So now it's like, no, but people will think that way. This is what I'm saying. But that's but you but that's that's assuming that the situation is going bad. Right, like you what, but you have to, you. but you can't look. My thing is, you people always want to look at the thing optimistically, like everything is gonna go great in a relationship, and it don't work like that. What if but any what relationship if the, could go bad? Yeah, what if they just date and then they just eventually break up and call it a date? No, I mean, and that's okay, it. So, 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 so at, at, at this point in time, all we're doing is saying a bunch of what ifs to gotcha. defend our point, right? That's so, right. I get it. You, you can put a what if for the pros and a what if for the cons. Right. I get right. it. Um, I, I don't want to speak to the what ifs. I, I, I don't. I want to speak to the fact of we're talking about. Ultimately, it's it's Eddie Murphy mm-hmm. and Martin Lawrence. They grew up in comedy together. They they are associates in the business. I don't know if they're friends or not. Friends. I, I don't know if they're like cool. So whatever. I, I what I'm saying is, if I'm thinking of my friend, my close friend, my associate, whatever whatever you, word you want to associate it with, um, I would rather it be someone that I know because at least I know how they were raised. Mm. I mean, like I I'm not talking about the what ifs because. What if they're a child molester? What if they're right, a criminal? Right, 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 right. Yep. It could be anything. You can what, what if, if it I'm, to death, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just saying I have you in my life as a friend because you're a trustworthy stand-up individual. I fuck with you for real. You know what I'm saying? like, You wouldn't even be in my life if you was on some function, to be honest. So I, I can't look at your offspring and think that they're on some fuck shit. Cause that's a reflection on me ultimately. That's how I see it. Hmm. If, if your if your child is treating my child wrong, means that your child learned or saw some shit from you that they're now reciprocating, or the the, the cycle continues, right? It means so. That, and daddy got some shitty friends. What if? Yeah. What, so like, so now I feel like that, that means that means you was a shitty friend. Like I I can't see my people's like that. Right. So because I can't, I I would much rather feel like. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess we just see it differently, and that's fine. That's, that's, that's hey, well, fine. What would you go say? Yeah, I'm gonna say because at the end of the day, like all of our parents can say certain things that they didn't raise us to do that we did. So it's not always based off like our actions are always based that's off facts. What our parents. Did Those to, are facts. Also gave yeah. us. It's at the end of the day. Like, that, that's why I started how I started. I'm like, at the end of the day, people are gonna do like what people are gonna do. Like, I, I think we're thinking about it from a protect. Well, I think Barry's thinking about it from a protecting a protective standpoint mm-hmm. or just protecting Absolutely. that but at the end of the day it's like we all done got hurt by somebody's daughter we all done hurt of somebody's course. daughter Absolutely. so it's like yeah. it's right. gonna happen like so long as you're not violating my child like you know what i mean like it is what it is like right. i jokingly tell my brother all the time that um there's a kid across the street i'm like you're gonna um <laughs> that's gonna be your son-in-law but at the end of the day it's like if my niece like remains like or is a heterosexual person at that age he's gonna marry a man at some point right if that's what she decides to do like if it jokingly i say it now but what if it was the kid from across the street Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it just happens to be the kid from across the street if not it's gonna be a kid from like eight neighborhoods i don't know but it's like it's gonna happen right right? so so long as i I agree with jason said because what i've realized in dating is a lot of what people do and who they are is what they come from so like if I know you're a decent bro, person, I don't expect behavior, you not to bro. cheat. Because niggas cheat all the time. People, women cheat all the time. It's just more so about like, you know what I mean? Like, what what, what type of family does it, this person come from? And like, what are they bringing mm-hmm. to the table? Or bring on my child? Like, perfection is never going to happen. So so, so you, would feel, you, you would feel more comfortable knowing where the family came from? Um, I mean, not specifically, but I wouldn't mind it. So like, I, I can see Jason's point. Like, I, I think... I could rock with that, like if it happened to happen. So then, Barry, you would feel uncomfortable knowing where the family came from. And I think Barry was saying he'd feel uncomfortable well, no, no, no. because he. I, wait, real quick. Oh, my phone, I, my phone, my phone. No, no, I got you. I, I'm only saying it because I want to make this point. Not, 
I get Barry's point. We all get Barry's point. Yeah. Seriously. So I'm saying, if based on what they just said, if your son or daughter is going to get done dirty, they're going to get done dirty. It is what it is. What I'm saying right. is, you being protective, that's fine. I'm saying, would you feel better knowing where the family came from? Like, if it was my son or daughter or Jason's son or daughter, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Than, to me, personally, I'd rather not know. That's just, like, I, I, now, I don't... That's if they're getting done dirty. You would rather... In even, a, in what, a, yo, even True Say, even... I believe, yo, certain things... I don't know. Maybe my brain is just different that way. I just... Certain things I want to be a mystery in a sense. Like, I don't want to know everything about your, your your boyfriend or your girlfriend's upbringing, their childhood, and you know what I'm saying? That's just me. Like, I don't want to know... if, if I, I just want it to be one of the things where, cool, for birthdays, we see y'all. For anniversaries, we see y'all. For the for when y'all have kids, we see y'all. I don't want to know, okay, I'm a C. I, I, that's just not my, I don't know, maybe I'm weird like that. But I don't want to, I don't want it to be one of them things where your father, I'm a C, all, I see him every day, all day. You, you, I, that's not, I don't know, maybe I'm weird like that. And maybe I'm wrong. I could be thinking stupidly that way, but. So I just wait, feel okay, like certain no, things. No, no, I, 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 okay, so my brain is working now, right? So I see you every day, all day now. Right. And it's fine. But if our kids were introduced, it would no longer be fine? Because now I'm, I, I, I'm automatic. Me personally, I'm going to look at you more than just now you're my best friend. I'm going to look at you more now like, okay, you're my best friend and now. now your daughter, your son is dating Jay. my son or my daughter. So let's make it real. It's an added One component second. that I wasn't ready for. You know what I'm saying? So now how, that's something that's how, added. How, how old you know is your Jamie daughter? How, old, how old is your daughter, like Jamie? At least 20 years away. Like I know, but that's what I'm saying. Away. That's what makes it cool, hypothetical. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, mm. how, how old is your daughter, Jay? I know she's a, she's a baby. My daughter just turned one. She's one. So yeah. let's just say hypothetically, Barry, you have a, a child within the next, let's just say, two years. So that would make mm -hmm. his child, his daughter, three years, you know, whatever. So at the end mm -hmm. of the day, they're going to grow up together. <laughs> we know this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. once again, like you said, well, like 20 years from now, <laughs> right? So if, my, if my daughter 23 and she's 23, is 20. or let's, let's make it legal. Let's say 24 and 21. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she's 24 and 21. And they're like, yo, we grew up together and they're grown. Daddy, I think I like him. Dad, or dad, I think I like her. Like, that's weird to you. No, no, no. The people going to like... The, it's not about the liking of people. And I'm never going to be like, don't date that. that. That's not one thing I'll ever do. But if you're asking me if something I'll be comfortable with, yeah. I, it's not... I don't... Like, cool. I don't want you dating my best friend's kid. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just me. Cause I mean, it's that, just, that, that's, his, that's his take. That's his no, take. I can take that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like... That. I'm a I'm, yo. It sounds so crazy, but I'm a big believer on boundaries. And granted, this is it's nothing to put a bound. I don't never want to put a boundary on my children or my child or whomever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm right, a big believer are. on bound on boundaries. I, certain things it's like <laughs> I don't want that line crossed. Right. I, it, that's just me. My brain works that way. Like. No, I get I, it. I'm a big believer on I don't fuck friends, right? Some people don't believe that. They'll be like, yo, we could be friends if we fucked. I don't believe in that. If I fuck right. you, you're not my friend. We, are, we know this and we understand that. Certain boundaries question. I just don't cross. Right. Good question. So mm -hmm. if, let's just say, your child and your close friend, best friend, your man, whoever it is, your child and their child started to deal with each other, mm -hmm. would that put a strain on your relationship with your friend? Would it put a strain? I don't think so. It would. What it would do for in the moment, it in the moment it happened, it probably throw me for a loop, and it would. I would have to like get so out my shit, head for a moment. This shit because, because now 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 we're talking about something that's out of our control. Right. Like, no, 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 of course, and and that's what I'm saying. It would like, it would throw me years, for a loop. And I would twenty it, years I'm, in the future. And twenty years in the future, by the way. What I'm saying is, I, it would, it would, it would, it would, it would throw me for a loop. I wouldn't stop being close friends with the friend that I have, but it would, it mm. would fuck me up in the moment that I, I find out it happened. It would for a second. It would take me a second to just be like, okay, wait a minute. Right. You know what's crazy? 
after hearing everybody discuss it, I think I would be very comfortable with it being my friend's kids. Because, I would be so comfortable. Because <laughs> I, because now, so after hearing what everybody said, I feel like I would have had a hand in raising my friend's kids too. I so so, so I, I would kind of feel like I can pull this other kid to the side. Like, nigga, you know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm Uncle Dan, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm me, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and it, it, I, I, honestly, I feel like we will be able to deal with these these people because we raised them together. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, bro, just tell me the truth. You trying to fuck or what? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't trying to, you know, like, you ain't got to deal with us. It's mad other women. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's mad other women. I, 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 you grew up. I, I agree. We all grew together. Like this ain't even it. Like you know what are you doing? Or you know what I'm saying? Maybe, but but I'm. But you know what it is? I'm open. I'm comfortable enough to understand and know my insecurities, and that's not something I'm comfortable having a conversation with. Mm, I get that. In terms of a nigga or a, a girl dating my child. I get that. I'm not. I get that. I'm not there to have the conversation. Like, hey, if you just want some pussy for my daughter, just like. That's not a conversation I am <laughs> willing or oh, ready wait, wait, ever wait, 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 wait. So, so, so technically, technically we're, we're not talking. Okay, so for Bari's standpoint, Bari's just not comfortable having that conversation, period. Right. No matter who it is. Gotcha. Right, Bari? No, yeah, for sure. Let alone my best friend's kid. Like, that's oh, not something oh. I... Yo, bro, if you I just look for some it. pussy for my daughter, just yeah. like, whoa, check hey, this yeah. out, fam. Hey, yeah. You you answer me wrong, I might punch you in your throat. So hear me out. Hear me out. What I'm saying is when you do get that comfortability, when you do get that, like, you, okay, cool, your daughter's now 30. She's had wild relationships. Mm-hmm. Bro, you're 55 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you're, you're a grown, you're 60. You're old, nigga. You're 60 <laughs> years old. She's 30. You're, your daughter is now like, oh, I like Greg's son. Mm-hmm. And Greg is like, oh, that's my man's for 40 years. Like, I fuck with Greg. Mm-hmm. Will you be on some like, no, fuck Greg, fuck his child. Right. But, fuck but, that kid. You see, but, like, you, but you got to, it's, it's so hard and it's unfair for that because with age comes wisdom and time and understanding and changing of things. You know what I'm saying? So for me to say that right now, I could be like, hell the fuck yeah, I'm going to be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that right now. You lost me. You lost me officially, but okay. No, how I lost you because right now, I could say right now how I feel, I'm not comfortable with that. But in 30 years, but he's talking as a parent. He's not talking as a parent, and, as and but this is what changes yeah, it, right? Because I'm yeah. not a parent, it's it's hard. No, I, I understand, but what I'm saying, if you were a parent of a kid that was 20, of course, I'm not talking <laughs> about right now. Space, bro. And Put what and the, the space I'm putting myself in, I'm not comfortable. I, I am you're being honest like, with you. I'm not comfortable with it. Twenty nine, bro. You're not. So at sixty would still not be comfortable with Barry's daughter. But I'm being. But I said to see you. I said to see y'all from. We're I'm asking you to while, take yo, yourself while, while, while a different I'm space. What, what I'm saying to you is, regardless of what I cannot see myself be, right now, for me to, for y'all, what y'all are trying to do is say, Bari, maybe, and I, right now, how I feel, I couldn't do it right now. And because I feel like that right now, I can't see beyond right now because I don't see anything beyond that. If my vision doesn't allow me to see anything past this moment, that's what it is. And, I, and I'm being completely honest. So Bart can answer the question basically. I really you, cannot, you can, bro. Oh, cool, cool. You you can say that's what it is. I can also say that's terrible, but it's okay. I, but I'll be, <laughs> but bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. That's what my yo. I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with you. I have no problem admitting. Hey, listen. This is where I am at with this, and and you know what? I will own that. If it's a bad thing, I will own it. And I'm not saying I won't work on it. But right now, I can't. I I personally but, can't. Um, okay, so so. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. Fuck it. It's kind of counterproductive as well because we have a whole talk show that talks uh-huh. about what if or what may or right. what might or what would have been. So we, 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 we do talk a lot of the future that hasn't happened yet, but what if mm-hmm. it does, how would you feel? So for right. you to and be like, I'm at- I will wait, let me go, let me go. For you to be like, well, where I'm at, I can't even think that far. No, I'm not. That's. Hear me out. What, what, what you're saying is where I'm at in my life right now, I can't think that far because I just can't get there. 
and it is what it is. You have to deal with it. Cool. Granted, I get mm -hmm. that. What I'm saying is we are in a business that we do project and we right. do say what may happen in the future or right. how would you feel. Or whatever, yeah. No, and, I'm, so and I answered the hypothetical for you. Okay. I did. Okay. All just said, I said, yo, that's not something I'm comfortable with. Like, legit, You're not with it. If it would bother, it would oh, bother no. me. I'm not now I I, in the sense of saying, no, yo, I bro. I respect your response. I respect your response, bro. I do. Right. I respect it. I, I couldn't do see anything beyond that. That shit would bother me. Now, would I stop it? No. That's another conversation. Sorry, if that's something you want to do, I would do. Cool. I would. I support you. But if you ask me if I feel if it makes me feel away or feel weird, it does. You know why I rid myself of that is because, like, someone's daughter had a whole phase, and I experienced that. Like, several people's daughters have had whole phases. I've experienced. One hundred percent. Everybody. Everybody's we daughter. Everybody's we what, daughter. We don't know what our children is like. Such a preference is going to be like we don't know. So there's too many unknowns for me to live with that. So I've let that go a while ago because I'm like, I don't know. So it's like for me to hold on to someone else's future when I could barely figure out my own, it's like... No, but what but, but I'm what not changes disputing that? you. I'm just saying for me, I've rid myself of thinking about no, certain things because my children are going to make mistakes. No, we, like our children are going to do things of that... Of course. So it's like I can't think for them same way that like my parents or your parents, they've felt ways about things that we wanted to do versus how they would have done it. It just wasn't their life to live. So 100%. that's why like, I'm not speaking to what you said. Right. Being wrong. It's more so for me. That's, 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 I can't that's, live that's, with what my children are going to do 30 years from now because like my parents probably, you know what I mean, didn't envision certain things that I've done for myself. Of course. They have, four, they have three kids that aren't necessarily the same. Well, the three that they have together. And it's like, I don't think that if my brother did some shit to break someone's heart and I didn't do it to the other person, it's based off of how my parents raised us. My brother just may be different. No, I got you. My brothers are yeah. different anyway. So it's like, that's why I, I start off by saying, people are going to do what people are going to do anyway. Like, it, I, I just can't hold on to that knowing that, like I said earlier, I broke in somebody's daughter's heart, somebody's daughter's broken my heart. It's just like, it's just a part of, it's a circle of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a circle no, of life. No, for sure. I'm not, that I'm not, I will never dispute that, ever. I mean, it's not a good thing. I'm just saying I, that these things happen. It's the it, it circle happened. of life. You could sing that note better. Oh, no, you could no, 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 no. You could do that note better. You could do that note better. <laughs> I could have. I was bullshitting. Yeah, yeah. Because you uh, don't do that. Don't do Lion King like that. Do that note better. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, you but could definitely all right. Do that note better. So I think we got it, man. Um, we got one more before we get out of here. Yes, 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 What we talking about, cuz? Mediated moderated cost connection stitches, temporary level, always plastic, half the gas station pill, Bari. What we talking about? Can you fuck with a dope, ugly person? Are you shallow if you can't? So I want everybody, real quick, real quick, real quick, before we even go anywhere, right? I want everybody to, in a moment, right now, stop and think about one of the ugliest persons, people you've ever met in your life, right? Not met, but been with, Barry. You can't say met. Been no, with. but think about that person. Now, could you, but they have a dope personality. Like, they funny. I know. They, they, they understanding. They wait, hold wait, wait, dope conversations. I, I want to speak to it briefly. Let me speak to it briefly because it, it, this this topic did it, it, it hashed from a conversation that was had in the living room. Shout out to living room. Um, living room. But yeah, big thanks. My bad. Excuse me. Um, this came from the fact that us as men, or no, stop. I'm not going. I'm not going to say it's a, it's a sex thing, but. Men and women both have the, the, the black book, right? We all have the black book. Mm -hmm. I can call this person late night Fridays, and I know they're going to pull up. I know they're going to pull up, right? So mm -hmm. whether it be your first choice or your 15th choice, the question is, can you fuck with somebody or be with somebody? It changed. What question. you said changes it now. It's not the same no, question. No, but 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 that's why I said it, it. It dealt with a lot. 
I, I, whatever I typed was just the basic, but I wanted to talk to you in person because you weren't in the conversation that we were having. You needed that so, background. You needed that background yeah, a little bit. The, the, it the changes back, a lot. Like I said, the, the background story, I, I hope, made it better. But literally, can you be with a dope, mm. ugly person, right? They're, they're not the most attractive, but they're dope as shit. They're fire in all aspects. But they're not your first call. They're your last call. The last and when, call. Yeah, and when you right, call them, they just they they there. They with it. Like, you know they're ready. You dealt with or that's, what, that's, that's why. That's why no, I, no, no. I asked in the beginning. That's why. That's why I'm glad. It, that's why I'm glad he cleared it up. Yeah, I had to clear it up. I had to clear it up. I mean, because it's not just somebody ugly. Like, no, that, that's shallow. We not. We're not that shallow, people. <laughs> but, 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 you see, but this is where it fucks it up. Wait, 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 wait. This is where, wait, but this is where it fucks it up. You know what I'm saying? Because the second question, right? It says, yeah. are you shallow if you can't? So this is why, yeah. in, and maybe I'm wrong if, in terms of thinking with Walla. When you say the uh, you're dealing with a dope, ugly person, I'm thinking, okay, cool. Ugliest motherfucker on, that I, I, I could fuck with. You said what? So I, I'm going to say this. Wait, Wade said the ugliest person he's ever dealt with is cool. Susan Boyle. So, so I'm I'm gonna I'm do this. I'm gonna do That's this. your ugliest person this. ever. Wait, hold on, real quick. My, my fault, Jay. What what Wade say? Wade said Susan Boyle. That's her name. I don't I don't know who Susan Boyle. I'm trying to figure out who Susan Boyle is. Who's Susan Boyle, Wade? I mean, we, we don't know because we don't know Wade's life. We don't know. No, Wade but he's trying to tell us. But you're talking, Wade. Oh, Susan Boyle is an ugly woman to Wade in Wade's life that he said is just ugly as shit. Damn. So hey, so so let me so let me go. Let me go. Let so we're just gonna run with Susan Boyle for the rest of the night. Cool. But let, let me go. Let me clarify it to it's make a real it more... person. <laughs> well, hear me out. So let's take away fuck with and insert date. Can you date the dope ugly person? Mm. Right? Can okay. you date that dope ass motherfucker? They are everything that you need in a person. They fire. They, they yo, they, 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 they're in the same field that you're in. They, they're, they're fire individuals. They, they're, uh, they're funny. Can I ask Whatever the case may be. The only can thing you is, date Susan they're Boyle? Just not they're just not the it? most attractive. You and then the, the you second part Susan to that, Boyle? and then the second part to that question was, are you shallow if you can't? If that okay, person cool. is everything, <laughs> if that person is everything for you, but they just don't look good, yeah, can you date them? Real quick, and I just want to, I just want to say this was the actual question, you guys, from the beginning. Yes, that's this is this, this is com- I'm gonna keep it above with you. This is completely opposite. It is completely different, but we fixed well, I mean, it. I, we cleared it up. I, I, in my defense, all I would say is I just typed it in as me and Dame were having the conversation. Yeah. I, I just typed it in. It was raw. It, it wasn't. It was a can. It was just, yeah. Should have yeah, text it, it, yourself. Well, I heard, <laughs> heard you, but right now I have a good ass topic. So it's like a dope ass person right. that you fuck with. Od, they're the perfect individual for you. They're just ugly, bad, like shape bad. Like the worst, the, the worst one. one. Bro, they're bad. Can you fuck with them? You want to go for real? Wallace well, say you want to go. Could you dig? I heard the question, bro. <laughs> no, no. What's her name? I'm pretty sure What's he was her name, right there. Wade? Oh, Susan What's Boyle. Her name? I don't know who Will. Susan Boyle. Shannon Boyle. Speak to her. Who said who? I don't know how that person looks. So I can't speak I'll to show her. You right now. Oh, Wade gonna show me a picture. To answer the question, Susan. Um, yeah, go ahead, Ale. Go ahead. Can you throw a picture I... in the group chat? Because I want to see a picture too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we ain't gonna put on blast. I just wanna see the picture. Oh. Oh. oh, okay, but she. Oh, she <laughs> Yo, wait, it's laughing. Yo. <laughs> sure. Nah, but for real, this person right <laughs> here is the best person for you. Oh my god. Personality, fucking business wise. <laughs> Yo, wait, it's crying. Okay, I'll shut up. I'm sorry, I just didn't. I knew I knew the name, but I didn't remember that this is what she looked like. Oh my god! Um, wow. Oh god. Right. Okay. I, 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 if you're talking <laughs> about dating, I think it's a little different than because it's like if I'm not attracted to an ugly person, I'm not attracted to an ugly person. If you mean like if the person's so get- personality was dope and I wanted to date them and I wouldn't, you probably would have a shorter leash. 
Like, if I really was feeling you. <laughs> but that's just real. Like, oh, you oh, took you to my picture with the photo up? Nah, he did it on purpose. Oh, Wait, ain't shit. But go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if, you, if you're not attractive, you're not attractive. Or if, let me not say that. If I'm not attracted to you. Because I don't think Rihanna's ugly, but I'm not, per se, like, I don't have the deepest attraction to getting worse the more I stare at her. <laughs> oh, yeah, the picture is had bad. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, Wade, you ain't shit, bro. Go ahead, with, with Walla. My but, bad. But, but, what, but what if this person right here, right, Susan Boyle, this person. No, bro. What if this person was I, That's, that's not even a conversation because this is no. drastic. You're talking about, like, all right, what, what are we talking about, a one or two or six? Like, I could, I could think nah. about a six and a half. I'm no, not dating no, no. a, a, a four. No, 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 no. Is she, is she, Does she even uh, rank? I think that's drastic. No, no, no. Like, no, give me some rope here. Like, no, 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 wait. No, that's no, not, no, no. That, that's not, no, not attractive. That's like, uh, like hideous. Like, <laughs> yo, wait, is that? Oh, yo, <laughs> being so serious. But, this is, but th- that's, that's what makes this a serious topic because that is. The nah, point. I can't be. I would never even talk to him. He said, no, nah, I can't be. I wouldn't talk nah. to anything below, below a six. No, but like, I can give you... I wouldn't you, even, like, I, not, not talk to you, but I wouldn't... All right, all right, all right, all right, stop. But I can give you an example of how you meet this person. This person can be a co-worker. You don't pick your co-workers, right? I mean, I have. <laughs> but you... No, but you understand what I'm saying. People you work with. He said you don't pick who you work with. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't pick your co-workers. You know what I'm saying? My, flag, so, my, my the vibe is not that loud for me. And so, like, oh, no, that's cool. My bad. Uh, but, and so sometimes, you meet a motherfucker that's just dope. And they just dope. And they may look like her. But no. they're dope. <laughs> but, all right, my thing is, to say to date somebody, there has to be yeah, a reason wait, to it. Right? Really shit, if I'm not attracted to you at all, like, I they can't get shit. hard for you at all. That's not even, like, about being shallow. I'm not attracted to you. Mm. That's like saying, okay. Okay. would that's you buy a motorcycle right. if you can't ride it? It's just going to sit there. Like, what do you need a motorcycle okay, for? Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm never, I'm is, this gonna sit, is this going to be there just to be there? I'm taking a bus every day? That's exactly what it'd be. I'm going to date her and she? What am I dating her for? I, Find I, somebody I, that you can actually vibe with that's also within, that's different. Like, I can't do that. No. Nah. So, okay. I'm going to go next. I'm going to go next. I, All I, right. I respect um, it. I respect it. I feel like I got the name of the episode, Can You Date Susan Boyle? I feel like that's the perfect answer. Uh, <laughs> perfect. But the disrespect is real. I think there's different forms in terms of uh, uh, in terms of dealing with an individual. You can be sexually attracted to a person. You can be mentally attracted. You could be emotionally attracted. You could be different forms of attracted to an individual. Individual, right? So, with that being said, in terms of dating. And that's what I'm saying. I don't How think do you get to the dating part. The dating part, like, I feel like you can. I feel like me personally, I've had sex with women that I may have not, not necessarily been sexually attracted to, but I've been emotionally and mentally attracted to. And I've dealt with them for a, little, a period of time because of that aspect of it. They may, on a sexual aspect, been not what I'm used to or wanted at any point in time, but because. The other parts made me like them. It right. gave me enough to get my dick hard to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It was enough. It was enough. To get a crack. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So now, what do you call it? Sapi- people who are called uh, sapiosexuals. People who get stimulated by people's mental intellect. They're, they're, they're more yeah. aroused. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that is. Um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not that. I'm not saying that's what I am. But... It could be one of those things, so right. I, I won't sit here and say that I wouldn't date an ugly person, but would I 100% be with in a relationship? That's my girl, an ugly person. Mm-hmm. Susan Boyle? Nah, we not. We, 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 we would can't you date Susan But would I date? Could I date a Susan Boyle? Possibly, yeah. That's crazy. God bless it's going to be tough. You it's going to be tough, hard. though. Susan Boyle, you got to, you, your, <laughs> your tall game got to be different. Yes. That's why. Right, so, so can I ask a question? I'm no, sorry. Hey, Susan Boy, you. you're talking. Yo, <laughs> Wade, not, you gotta no, relax, no, Wade. No, Wade, no, Wade no, you gotta no, relax. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, Let's not Wade use Susan Boy as the example. It's just right? Wade gotta stop. Wade gotta no, stop. No, no, no. Because I, really, I, I want to answer a question in the truest <laughs> sense. 
We're not talking about Susan Boyd. Yo, boy. We're talking about somebody, let's say, below what you would normally date. Not Susan Boyd. Mm-hmm. Nah, we're talking like, let's about say you would normally, Boyle, let's say, like, you know, you would normally date somebody and you're like, all right, well, you're not my type, but not that drastic. I think that's a little different. Okay. So I'm okay with dating someone that's not necessarily what I'm used to dating. Like, you might interest me that much, mm-hmm. but. It's like, so I'm saying, like, what's the range? Because in reality, I'm not dating somebody that's completely out of, like, that I'm not attracted to in but any then, way. But you know what? That's, but, that, but you answered the question. You're but like, that, yo, could you yeah. date someone who's ugly but dope? No, you cannot. That, you that answered the question. question. You said ugly, though. Unattractive and ugly, two different things. No, ug- bro, ugly. Walla, I understand what you're saying. Nah, I wouldn't date no, ugly person, period. No, no, He's He is a thousand percent right right now. Unattractive and ugly are two different things. That's what I'm saying. Like we, that's drastic. Yo, Once you yo, say yo, ugly, it's like yo, what are we yo, talking about? I'm gonna need wait. Unattractive to stop. could be like a five. No, ugly is like a, a two. Five. Like yo, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so 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 then just to clear this up. My bad, Dame. Like Jason's told me before, like there's some people I've dated and he's like, yo, she's prettier than her. That doesn't mean the other girl's ugly. Okay, no, but I'm not saying all right, all right. But just, but just for the sake of the argument. Since you say it's the difference between ugly and unattractive, since we've been showing this picture of Susan Boyle, Yo. what is, what would she be to you? Is she ugly <laughs> or is she unattractive? That's a joke. <laughs> that's how I'm serious. Joke. Like, Yo, waiting over here, guys. Like, I, I can't uh, even add to that. There's too many women in, like in, in in the world for me to date Susan Boyle. I'm no, sorry. she's shit. Someone, bad. Someone, that's not even shit bad. Like that's not even a conversation. No, it's not. No, but it I, is. Nah, yeah, <laughs> <y'all wrong. laughs> she's she shit bad. God bless. God bless. <laughs> Susan Boyle can't even give me head. Are you shitting me? Yo. You shitting me? Yo, Wade is over here dying, son. I wouldn't even let her give me head. Fuck oh, just decide. Wait, where did you find Susan wait, Boyle wait, from? Wait, where did you? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, but my bad, my bad. But Wally, you gotta answer me, bro. Bro, I'm shallow. That's not. That, I, I'm not. I'm not. She, I'm not touching. Wait, wait, wait. But is she is she ugly or is she unattractive? Well, I, guys, say, say it. it. Say it. I don't. I here's the thing. I think beauty's subjective. Yo, this thing. Wow, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is a podcast. Y'all want me to talk? We have to end the show. No, because you just said beauty is subjective. That beauty motherfucker is, ugly, beauty bro. Is subjective. That Yo, you say that, but to somebody, she's she's fire. To somebody in her bracket. Point. I'm saying, but no, but anybody can be attractive or whatever to anybody. So, so <laughs> duh, whatever, my nigga, we get that. I'm simply nah, saying hold up, you. Dude. Hold up, hold up, hold up. To you. No, no, hold up, Dame, hold up, hold up, Dame. To you. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dame, give me one second, Dame. Because I want to pose a question to you. Oh, this nigga is good. He is deflection what I, king, what bro. I, no, it's not deflection, bro, because I already answered the no, question, you nigga. You're not, no, you did it. I, bro. Clearly you, clearly, you wouldn't choose this woman. We get it. But is she ugly or unattractive? You said it's a difference. I want to know the difference based off what you said. Is she ugly or unattractive? She's unattractive. Talk to man. Me. Oh, she un- okay. You can be ugly and unattractive. So if y'all want to play words, war words, I can play with you too. That motherfucker, oh shit, bad. <laughs> Yo, but if another nigga look like her, <laughs> that's in heaven. You feel me? Like, for real. Yo, what if, what if, what, 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 what if Samuel Boyle looked just like her? <laughs> He's not. She's not ugly to him. That's his standard. That's his bag. She looks like Jackie. What if Quasimodo <laughs> saw her? He don't want to strip her. The nigga from Goonies is lit. Bro, she looks like Jack Black. Like Jack Black. Fam. Yo. I don't, Yo. See some, I don't see some people. All right. I'm, I'm oh, going to tell you a funny story. And, and I'm going to ask you a question in reality, right? I was 12 years old. I was at Home Depot. And my brother's <laughs> godfather, <laughs> there was this big, tall chick shaped super bod, right? She had, <laughs> like like clay and i was like damn she's ugly and he was like man there's somebody for everybody in this world i just always believe that like there's somebody for everybody that in this don't world. mean that you still not ugly bro yo i'm not, you're not ugly okay. I mean, yeah, she, 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 <laughs> yo, she, 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 you can be unattractive, but I, I still won't try to call you ugly. You feel me? You're just not attractive I, to me. 
No, I get that because all of it is subjective. Yeah. But you don't. Once you start so, if Susan that, Boyle come up to you and say, I'm, "Well, I'm, am I ugly?" I'm. Not, I'm gonna say, "Love, you, you, you're beautiful." Like. Yo, you, you, you beautiful son. Shut, yo, you're yo, Dame. Sir. I swear to God, I wish you was here, cause this nigga. Yo, like, oh my God. Like, you ever see somebody kid, and it's like you don't tell the kid is ugly. I be like, you gotta find a compliment anyway, though. Cause I'm not the, I'm not the all babies are cute type. Like I'm, I'm sorry, it's, no, no, that's no, not it's a real a, thing. Yo, it's a hell of a oh, lot no, of no, ugly no. babies. No, what are we yeah. talking about? All babies are not cute. Fuck no, out of no. here. Okay, thank you. I'm like, right. Jason, just because you blessed, don't go lie for people. <sighs> yeah, no, yeah, no. Nah, you got two beautiful no. ass kids. No, nah, you just compliment no. how beautiful the stroller I, is. I work for that, bro. You feel me? But nah, all, he looks just like you. All babies is not created equally. I'm sorry. And there's ugly babies out here. I'm sorry. We can say oh, it. Oh, shit. Like Yo, shout there's out to y'all. Babies. I don't know. I've never. So wait. So ugly baby ever become ugly adult? So you thought Susan Boyle was 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 fucking um, 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 Michelle Tanner when she was a baby? Uh, <laughs> she was a baby. That's something that different body from a long time. That's you know, something that different body. That's something that but come on crazy. Somebody probably lies about parents about your kids a cute kid. Lies. Yo, Let's we not gonna that. sit here. We not gonna crap. sit here and make it seem like that shit came out straight from birth. That shit came out different from a long time. You're not gonna do that one. Well. That nut came out ugly. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When the when, when, when the father bust that night, he, he was released. Yo, no. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Imagine getting that out your system. Yo, <laughs> yo, wait, yo, wait. <laughs> All right, we can't do that. That's crazy. You see what oh, that came out, man? All right, that's crazy. It came out with that face right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Wade is on his dog. <laughs> Gotta keep it real with Yo, you. Yo, Wade, the name of this episode is Susan Boy, You Beautiful. That's what you gotta say. That's the name of this episode. I swear to God, son. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Yo. Um, but, but you know, I, I will say this. Ugly, pretty, <sighs> whatever. I do agree with you. There is somebody for somebody. Of course. And and ugly and attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder. It is true. Um, sure. The other thing I'll say is it's been a ton of ugly babies that grow up to look beautiful. Like, it is what it is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Because um, to me specifically, all babies is ugly when they first come out, nigga. They look like little, goddamn it. I, all, every nah, single baby. Don't, don't nah. do that. Don't nigga. do that. That's not true. There's some babies that can come out gorgeous. Kids. No, no, no. I'm talking about literally like pop out the pussy. Like, oh, you just. Ah, all right, cool. Ah, so it's a situation all, that, that looks all weird. All look like you. aliens, nigga. All of them look like Got aliens. you. All right, all right, all right. Every single one of but, them look like baby dinosaurs. Not, okay, okay, cool. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about when a baby's in their developmental stages. Yeah, and, they and you can clearly tell. No, you're talking about when they first come out and they slimy look like Predator. Okay. Oh, no. No, we get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I'm but, not talking about that. But no, 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 no. Regular ass, ugly ass five year olds. I've definitely seen that before. Um, but that doesn't mean that you always gonna look like that. A, a lot of kids grow into themselves. You know, just like we all have ugly ducking phases. You could be an ugly ass, funny looking. I was a buck too fast, funny looking ass kid, and I grew up to be this gorgeousness. You know. Nah, you you so, still buck too, my nigga. <laughs> so, but you know, at the end Shit, of the day, man. Body. At the end of the day, like I said, it's all in the eye of a beholder. I just um um I have met really cool people who were because they knew that they was ugly. They just they succeeded in everything else in life because beauty was never a thing for them. You know what I'm saying? Like I've I've met a lot of women like that. Like she she was like, well, I, I know I'm ugly, so fuck it. I'm funny. I can sing. I can dance. I can outrun you. I can dunk. You know whatever it is. I don't know. And yeah. she she was fucking amazing. And she like my pussy good was good. And I was kind of like that's fine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she's ugly. She said, but she's what? ugly. She have a good heart. No, 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 no. no. So, so what I'm saying is all those great okay. qualities that right. we look for, right? Oh, we wow. want somebody who's caring, compassionate, um, has somebody a good heart, has you. a good upbringing, um, wh whatever good qualities that you associate with that that person can have. But you're like ah, but you're ugly. And it's like, I can't fuck with you. So my question was, does that make you a shallow individual? 
Yes. Yo, Wade is over here torching right now. No, no, no. I don't think it makes you shower. Bring it back. Let's get here so we can go ahead and end the show. Yeah, that's it. I'm I'm, I'm talking about something for real, right? The person who grew up perfect, they have a great upbringing, great family. They're they're, they're a good-hearted individual. They have all the personality traits that you would want in a person. They just Mm -hmm. don't look how you want them to look. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you gonna fuck with them or not? And if you do not fuck with that person, does that make, does you, that make you shallow? Mm-hmm. It's a real I'm, question. I wouldn't, and I don't think so. I'm answering both. I answered the first one, then I answered so, the second one. So you wouldn't fuck with that individual that's perfect for you because they're ugly, and you're saying that does not make you shallow. No. Cool. Got gotcha. you. Can we get like? I'm glad it took a while to get here, but this is literally what the conversation was about. So, you, right, Bari true. said, "No, huh?" No, I said you're right. You're right. That was the question. I said no. Yeah, I, I, I said no and no. Was. So I, cool. Yeah. All right. If that person Walla. is a perfect being for you, but they're unattractive, can you fuck with them? Bari said no. What about you? Walla, what you say? No and no, because that means you're not perfect for me. Cool. Mm. Come on, Willa, Valid. talk to me. Valid. Answer the question. Valid. Um, Willa. Uh, okay, so to, to to be real, if it's on me, um, I do I do think that makes you shallow. I do think that makes you shallow because. But would you fuck with the person? Could you fuck with the person? You could I fuck with part. somebody who? Okay, cool. This person is perfect for me, perfect. but they're unattractive. No. I will not fuck with them. But does that make me shallow? Yes. I'm the only, not the only, but I'm here to take accountability. Mm-hmm. There, yo, in all walks of life, men or women, women, there's that person who is the perfect being for you. They do everything. They're compassionate. They're, they're, they're they, they show emotion. They have a great family upbringing. They take care of the family. They're responsive. They're responsible when it comes to finances. Whatever, whatever your benchmarks are, right. if they hit all of that, but they're not the most attractive, and you don't fuck with them, right. I do think you're shallow, right. because you're go- you're going off a of face value. So but, I was saying, can I ask a real I'm, question? I'm, 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 wait, let me. I don't want to. I don't want to say this. My fault. My fault. Wait, 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 cool. So I, I don't want to say this and be done with it, so y'all can talk. Um, I do feel like it's shallow. Um, to me, it's shallow because we're going off of face value. We're going off of what the looks are like. And granted, you have to be physically attracted to someone to build something long term. Right. But if they offer, if they're offering you ninety five percent of everything you need as a person, and the other five is physical, and you're like, no, you're you're shallow. All right. And I would say I'm shallow. Well, yeah. All right. I'll say I'll say this then, real quick. Um, I'm gonna break. I'm, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna go back to what Wallace said. I'm gonna break it down in two ways. Um, could I date someone that's for me? That's quote unquote ugly. Yes, because beauty fades anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like all beauty fades. You can be the most beautiful person at 20. By 30, you can look crazy. By 40, it's like my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm an older person. I'm older than. Everybody I know, apparently. And I've seen beauty fade from a lot of beautiful women. Like, they was fine as shit. Mm-hmm. That beauty is fading. So, beauty fades. So, I'm not really pretty or ugly. But when you say attractive, that's different. Because it's like, I have to still be attracted to you to build something with you. So, I don't think it's shallow to want to be attracted to the person I was trying to get to thank you dan thank you yeah thank you. i don't think that's shallow but i do think it's shallow if you feel like a person has to be pretty subjectively because like that just don't make sense beauty fake right. she could be because she could be beautiful and then get in a car accident is it over for you for your soulmate right is it over for her now because now half her face is like you like oh it's over for you you know what i'm saying no bro that's not for you dan that's your, point. that's your soulmate, right? I thought better or worse. So Damn, we out here talking about, name you know what I'm saying? So no, I've, I've dated a lot of women who were the shit to me, and they may not have been the cutest. I really have. like, Or they're Yo, pretty. Like, you know I've dated a lot of women. so ill? 
like, I just had this conversation with somebody, and they just asked me the same shit, like, a, a few days ago. And I'm like, honestly, I don't date per attraction even anymore, because it's like, like, sometimes people tell me, I've had friends tell me, like, they don't, some, some people that I've dated, they don't feel like they're to my standard, or they see me dating someone else. Like, I don't date for that. So, if there's an attraction, I don't care if people think you're a six or a seven. Like, right. if I'm good exactly. with you and I'm at peace with you, like, that's fine. But if you're talking that's about, it. like, something that's completely, you know what I mean, that's out of scope, then it's like, nah, but it's not because, I don't think it's because I'm shallow. I think it's, I'm not attracted to you. And if I'm not attracted to you, I can't build with you. Like, yeah. if you're the last person left on earth or some shit, and that's I was like, that's valid. That's yeah, valid. but if not, it's like, why are you the only person that I should have, you know what I mean? Like, if you, like, you're buying a house, you're going to pick what makes sense for you. You're buying a car, you're going to pick what makes sense for you. Like, you're picking. So it shouldn't be one person or none. Like, Yes, Bari, Bari picked those shorts. So apparently yeah. those shorts, he was Bari attracted to that. Shorts. He saw he them cuffs and was like, this is it. Yeah. And he was willing to do that. whatever came with it. So that's why yeah. he was in jail. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> when he, he, when he wore those shorts, he knew y'all probably would roast him, but he didn't care. He didn't probably. Care. No, I don't give a fuck. Dude. He knew definitely I was gonna cut ass. Man, exactly, and he didn't. Man, man cleavage and thigh meat. We know it's all he, good. He got the Andre German shorts on. <laughs> don't do man, that. Man, cleavage and thigh meat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, yo, it's been a very productive yeah. conversation, fellas. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Once again, thank y'all yeah. for watching Willow Wednesdays. You got turn up, turn me, up, myself, turn that up. boy Bar. We got Jay Willa. We got Damo. All the new music. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Wale from Wale and Friends himself. When is the episode air? We're going to air it Wednesday. I was it's going to You didn't even let me do it. You didn't even let me do it. Wow. You didn't even let me do it yet. You know what I'm saying? Next Wednesday? This Wednesday this coming. Nigga, this Wednesday. nigga tomorrow. Uh-huh. What? I'm Listen, you, you don't worry about it. I was going to let you. I was going to give you your space to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, go stream Water from Willa. New track. Video coming soon. Yeah. New music Bye. coming soon. I got, a, I, got, I got a new one. I got a new one. Hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I just have to say this for anybody that watches. It's quick. It's quick. Um, the album that I'm putting, well, that I have out right now is all of the uh, Chicago music skate producers got together and made a, a collaborative EP, and it's one of the most fireest albums ever. And it's the first time that all of the producers from Chicago that make skate music did it. I just want to say that real quick. Um, if you go to my IG, um. IG is Demo, I-T-S-D-A-M-E-O. You can um, cop it, stream it, whatever. It's all of the Chicago skate producers at once. It's, it's called the IR10 Unity Skate Album, and it's everybody. It's everything that we built. I'm very fucking excited about it to be a part of it, and I just want to say that real quick. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody go stream that, go cop that on all your DSPs. Apple Music, Spotify, wherever you got to go get it. Go get that. Go get what you know about DSP? Mm-hmm. Right, look at you. Relax, relax, relax. And my man Wale, come on, talk to me. I know you, you got something cooking up for this Friday, don't you? Facts. Um, you know what I mean? Wale and Friends present Ladies Night. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. What's, that? What's that? What's that? What's that? That sounds 16. sexy. Location now and then. Right over here. I think it's 299 Messerol Street. Yep, right here in Williams. Follow us at Wale. W-A-L. Two underscores, L A Y, or Wally and friends. Um, yeah, we're going to cook up a little vibe, you know what I mean? Create a little moment. Mm-hmm. DJ Classic New Wave. When is this? You know what I mean? Long Live 2 L. Wally and Off friends. Still. They we have got Miles Jones hosting. Facts. The Living Room playing, you know what I yep. mean? Strangers singing. It's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. When is Miles it? When's Jones it? Miles Jones hosting. When's Friday. This Friday. This Friday. This Friday. This Friday, the 16th, 17th. For me, it was the prelude. Now we're at the interlude. Yes, yes, yes. So once again, if you missed it, Miss the first one, you don't miss Friday the 16th. Wale and Friends has a ladies' night. Please Lincoln don't bio. miss this. Damn, I'm it, that it, nigga it's now, gonna huh? be a vibe. Uh-huh. You're gonna have Stranger performing, Miles Jones hosting, hey. um, the living room performing. Classic New Wave yeah, is I'm, fucking yeah, decent. I'm, I'm She's one of the best yeah, DJs in the whole entire city. Is is is, is gonna be a Hulk sells a savage. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dope, it's gonna be a dope event. This Macy's Friday. a maestro. And even listen, I say this. So I'm gonna cook up a movie. We 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 we. I've been to a couple of Wale events. I've been to a lot of Wale events. I'm gonna say a couple. My I've been to a lot of Wale events, bucks. and his vo- events are always a vibe, right? Funny. If you miss this one, shame it's on okay. you. Okay, shame on you, but it's okay. 
he will have plenty more. Nah, shame on you. But it's gonna get to a. I'll, I'll say this, and I'm gonna say this now. I'm, what's what's fact, today's date? Come to the next one. I'm sending tickets to only. I'm only sending tickets to people that purchase tickets this time. Ooh, so listen. I'm Pretty saying it now. No, no, no. Look, Walla. I'm saying it now. This is July 14th at 11 at this time, right? I'm not even gonna say the time. If you don't get on it now, when the prices of these tickets go up and you can't get a ticket, I don't want to hear nothing. That's a fact. Don't call me there. All right. So don't. So make sure you you get on board now because when the price go up, I a. Hey. So once again, now, it's we Friday the 16th. Pull yeah. up, lit, pop man. out. Um, Support Willow Wednesday's lag. Like, like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Nah, it's cool, Thanks. man. I'm uh, about 15 minutes down the street. We definitely gonna pop out and be there. Shut up. <laughs> facts, 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 facts. <laughs> Everybody, like and share, subscribe. Shout out to B Condom. Yo, Willa, send me some condoms. All bro. that shit. All that good shit. Peace, love, and hair grease, y'all. Not for real, send me some of those. I got you, We bro. out. See y'all next week. We out, wait. Gangster. All right, y'all. Peace. Thank y'all for having me. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the thanks, support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.